Thank you for your interest in the Project Pipeline Route 199 Corridor Study. Project Pipeline Program is a performance-based planning program that identifies cost-effective solutions to multimodal transportation needs in Virginia. It focuses on the priority locations adopted during the VTRANS process, a comprehensive assessment of transportation needs, long-term risks, and opportunities to guide Virginia's transportation future. Specific projects identified from Project Pipeline may be considered for funding and implementation. Project Pipeline was developed in spring and summer 2021. In fall 2021, the project team reviewed existing and future conditions and brainstormed potential improvement alternatives with VDOT, City of Williamsburg, and James City County. Right now, the program is conducting an extended public outreach effort to share alternatives and seek feedback from the community. This winter, the program team will make a recommendation of preferred improvements, and at that time, the City of Williamsburg and James City County may seek funding for project implementation. The Route 199 corridor study is one of five priority locations identified in Hampton Roads for Project Pipeline. The study is assessing potential operational and safety improvements between Brookwood Drive and John Tyler Highway in the city of Williamsburg and James City County. It focuses on four intersections. Route 199 at Brookwood Drive, Route 199 at Jamestown Road, Route 199 at John Tyler Highway, and John Tyler Highway at John Tyler Lane and Strawberry Plains Road. Potential improvements address VTRAN's needs, improving traffic conditions for all road users. Currently, the Route 199 corridor experiences congestion during the morning and evening peak periods. The congestion creates long vehicle queues that exceed available turn lane storage and spill back into adjacent intersections, creating safety concerns. By 2045, if no improvements are made, the congestion is expected to worsen, and queues will extend farther, impacting areas beyond the immediate study area. The corridor experiences many crashes. Most are rear-end and angle crashes at the major intersections that happen as a result of congestion and turning vehicles. For each intersection, we will discuss existing operational and safety needs, potential innovative solutions, and associated benefits. Route 199 and Brookwood Drive Westbound Route 199 vehicle queues currently extend from Brookwood Drive back to College Creek Bridge during the evening peak period. Without improvements, vehicle queues will extend up to 1.5 miles reaching Colonial Parkway by 2045. Heavy queuing presents safety concerns. Between 2015 and 2019, 32 crashes occurred at this intersection, and 72% of those were rear-end crashes, often resulting from reoccurring congestion. 13% of crashes were angle crashes, where one vehicle strikes another making a turn at the intersection. Two crashes were due to a vehicle running a red light. Improvement 1A is a through-cut at Route 199 and Brookwood Drive with two unsignalized U-turn locations to the east and west of Brookwood Drive. Vehicles traveling through on Brookwood Drive would be rerouted to these U-turn locations. Based on vehicle count data, it is anticipated that less than five vehicles per day will be rerouted. The low number of vehicles traveling through on Brookwood Drive makes this intersection an ideal location for a through cut. Left turns from Brookwood Drive and Route 199 will remain. This design eliminates through movements on Brookwood Drive, allowing for fewer traffic signal phases which reduce vehicular delay. Improvement 1A eliminates 12 conflict points, which is anticipated to reduce three crashes per year. Improvement 1B is a through cut at Route 199 and Brookwood Drive and eliminating left turns on Route 199 with two signalized U-turn locations to the east and west of Brookwood Drive. 
through traffic on Brookwood Drive and left turns on Route 199 would be rerouted to the signalized U-turn locations. This design eliminates 12 conflict points and reduces vehicle delays. Improvement 1B is anticipated to reduce two crashes per year. Route 199 and Jamestown Road the Jamestown Road intersection crossing Route 199 experiences multimodal traffic from active pedestrians and cyclists and two bus stops. Currently, westbound Route 199 vehicle queues spill back from Jamestown Road through the Brookwood Drive intersection during both morning and evening peak periods. By 2045, with future traffic growth and no improvements, the vehicle congestion will worsen, causing longer delays on all four approaches at Jamestown Road. A total of 95 crashes occurred at this intersection between 2015 and 2019. 46% were rear-end crashes. 32% of crashes were angle crashes. Six angle crashes were during the permissive left-turn signal phase when motorists yield to coming traffic before making a turn. Improvement 2A is a quadrant with a signal on Jamestown Road. The quadrant includes two secondary intersections linked by a connector road. All left turn movements at the Route 199 and Jamestown Road intersection would be rerouted to the two secondary signalized intersections via this connector roadway. Improvement 2B is a quadrant with a roundabout on Jamestown Road. Like Improvement 2A, the quadrant is linked with a connector road and rerouted movements. The secondary intersection to the west would be signalized with a roundabout at the north intersection. These improvements would eliminate two conflict points, reducing 13 crashes per year. Improvement 3 presents two different bowtie options at Jamestown Road. Improvement 3A is a full bowtie including two roundabouts. All left turns from Route 199 and Jamestown Road would be rerouted to the north and south roundabouts along Jamestown Road. The bow tie eliminates 12 conflict points and has fewer traffic signal phases, which means less time stopped at the Route 199 intersection. Improvement 3B is a partial bow tie, and like Improvement 3A, there are two roundabouts. However, in Improvement 3B, only left turns from Jamestown Road to Route 199 would be rerouted to the roundabouts. Improvement 3B would eliminate four conflict points and reduce four crashes per year. John Tyler Highway and John Tyler Lane Currently, westbound Route 199 left turn vehicle queues spill back from John Tyler Highway beyond the available storage bay during both morning and evening peak hours. By 2045, with future traffic growth and no improvements, the vehicle congestion will cause longer delays and vehicle queues. Between 2015 and 2019, 102 crashes occurred at this intersection. 58% of those were congestion-related rear-end crashes from merging vehicles on channelized right turns. Two crashes involved a bicyclist, and one crash resulted in a pedestrian fatality. Improvement 4 is a partial displaced left turn at John Tyler Highway with two different options at John Tyler Lane. Improvement 4A includes partial displaced left turns at John Tyler Highway and a signalized intersection at John Tyler Lane. Two new traffic signals are added on Route 199, east and west of the existing signal. Left turn movements on Route 199 will cross opposing through traffic prior to the John Tyler Highway intersection using a signalized intersection. Simultaneous movement of protected left turns and opposing through movements allows for fewer traffic signal phases, rather than the typical four phases, which reduces delay on Route 199. A new shared use path will connect existing sidewalk to the future shared use path on John Tyler Lane and Strawberry Plains Road. These improvements eliminate 20 conflict points where vehicles may cross paths. 
Improvement 4B includes partial displaced left turns at John Tyler Highway and a roundabout at John Tyler Lane and Strawberry Plains Road. Traffic patterns on Route 199 are the same as Improvement 4A, but the intersection of John Tyler Lane and Strawberry Plains Road will have a roundabout. Improvement 4A is anticipated to reduce the yearly crash rate of the intersection by two crashes, while Improvement 4B reduces four crashes. In September, the project team will use feedback gathered at community meetings to refine proposed improvements. Later this fall, additional public meetings will provide an update on the study. After public outreach, the project team will share recommended improvements and issue a final report in early 2023. Please visit the project website for more details on the proposed concepts for the Route 199 corridor. VDOT, the City of Williamsburg, and James City County welcome your feedback.